there. Welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today we're going to work on the triangulation CD again. A bunch of people asked me to show them how to do the paper piecing for the flying geese. So that's what we're going to do today. So the things you're going to need are your triangulation CD. You're going to need a small rotary cutter some type of a pressing tool. I use this to press either that or I guess you could use your finger. A little rotary mat. You're gonna need what's called add a quarter. And what this is, is this is a little ruler that does just what it says, it adds a quarter. There's a little um, lip here and I'll take a closer picture of it so you can see it. And that little lip gives you an exact quarter of an inch to trim. You are going to need a business card or some type of a little piece of cardboard. You could probably use a um, file folder. That would work. And then you're going to need to print out the triangulations from the triangulations ruler, your flying geese, whatever size you want to use. I'm doing a finished one and a half by three inch. So let's get started. Today we're going to work on the triangle triangulation CD. A bunch of you asked me to show you how to make the flying geese with it. So that's what I'm going to do today. There's a couple of tools you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is your CD. The first thing is you're going to need a small cutting mat. This works out great because I can set it right beside me at the sewing machine. An add a quarter ruler and what this ruler does it's different than our normal rulers is it actually adds a quarter you can see right here it's a little bit larger what we're going to do is butt that up to what we're working on and then we can trim it to a quarter of an inch something to um, press your seam to get it flat finger press it you can use your finger or your fingernail I like to use this I suggested that you print this off when you first get your CD and what it tells you is the size sewn, the finish size, and where you can find your chained piece geese. So I want a three inch, so it's one and three quarters by three inch because I'm going to try to get them pretty close to this size. So I want the one and three quarters by three inch. So I want that as my finished size. So here's my three inch. So I need to cut, sewn sizes are two by three and a half and I'm on page 15. So I'm gonna get you this page. I've gone and I've printed that out. And on here on the key, it tells you what sizes to cut them out. On mine, I did cut them the size suggested for the geese itself. And I would suggest cutting it just a little bit larger for the um, feather part or the solid, the background fabric, which is this. I cut that exactly how they told me to and there wasn't a bit of problem. So I'm gonna now show you how to get started. You'll notice on these pieces of paper, they have numbers. So you're always going to start with one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. The dotted line is where you sew, solid line is where you cut. So my very first piece is number one. So I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to turn my piece over. I'm going to sew it right side, I'm going to put it right side up and I'm going to put a pin in it. Okay. Once I've put my pin in it, I'm going to turn it over and I know that my next piece is two. I'm going to take one of my triangles and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to lay it like this. Now what I have to do is I've got to determine and make sure that all of my one is covered based on my pattern so you can hopefully you can see it's a little difficult paper piecing is totally backwards from what you would expect I'm going to stick a pin in right here and see how I come over 
into the that square, so I'm okay. So I'm gonna move, scooch this a little straighter. I'm gonna take my pin out here and I'm gonna pin it right here in my fabric, okay? I'm gonna hold it up to the light, and sorry you can't see me do that, but I'm holding it up to the light to make sure that I've completely got my piece underneath covered. And when you hold it up to the light, you really can see whether or not you're covered. It just, just takes a minute. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew on line number two. Once you've sewn on line two, you're gonna take your pin out Double check your work to make sure that you've got enough fabric to cover it all the way out to here. And I do. So now I'm going to take my business card and I'll lay my fabric down, lay it on that stitched line. I'm going to press that back right against my business card there. I'm going to take my add a quarter ruler Put it right up next to there, and see there's not a lot to trim off, but I'm gonna trim that. Lock my ruler so I don't get caught. Open this up. Now I can fold my fabric back and use my little pressing piece tool. Okay, so now I need to take another piece of fabric I'm going to put right sides together. I'm going to line it up here at the edge. I'm going to stick a pin in it. And I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to hold it up to the light. And I'm going to make sure that I'm covered here. And I am. And then I'm going to take it. I'm going to move my, need my pin over. I'm going to fold it back. And I'm going to just make sure that I've totally covered my piece, which I have. Okay. So now I can put that right back. Line it up again. And now I can stitch it. When I stitch it, I'm going to be turning it and I'm going to be stitching over here on line three. Okay. Line three is done. I'm going to fold it back, make sure I've covered it, and I have. I'll now take my business card, I'm going to lay it down, fold it back against the business card, take my little add a quarter ruler, and now I'm going to trim this. All right, and I'm going to keep doing that all the way down to the end. So I'm going to now fold this back, use my little pressing tool, and now I'm going to add my next piece. I'm going to add my next piece by putting right sides together. I am going to try to make sure I'm a little bit centered. I'm going to put my pen in. I'm going to turn my fabric over, put it up to the light, and make sure that I'm completely covered. And it looks like I am, but it looks like I'm not very straight. So I'm going to straighten a little bit. Put my pin in. And I'm going to sew there. Then I'm going to trim it. Then I'll keep right on going. So I'll just let you watch me sew. So there it is all done. 
I'm going to now press it to set all my seams, and then I'm gonna take it over to the big cutting board and cut on the solid line all the way around. So here is my paper pieced flying geese. So you can see they're all done. Thanks so much for joining me today while we worked on the triangulation CD and we made flying geese. Here's mine. I actually ended up making a total of eight of them. So there's my second set. So there's mine. I'm not quite certain what I'm gonna do with these. I'll add these to the half square triangles that we made a few weeks back. So there's those. Um, my opinion, let's see. I liked the fact that it's really easy to get the size that you need and the fact that the directions tell you the size of fabric to cut and what your um, finish size is going to be. I think it makes it easier. Flying geese to me can always be a little bit confusing on what size I need finished. So I like that. Um, paper piecing is nothing something, paper piecing isn't something that I've ever been totally thrilled about. I love to do English paper piecing, which is hand, but paper piecing just isn't something that I've done a ton of. So this is the way I do it. Other people may do it other ways, but how I just showed you was how I do it. Oh, I think this paper piecing would be great if you were doing little teeny tiny pieces because you do cut your fabric larger than what it is that you need it to be and then you trim it away. So consequently, what ends up happening is um, you're more than covered. It is a little backwards because you're always sewing on the paper, on the right side of the paper, but your piece, your finished piece is on the other side. The fact that you've got to then sit and tear the paper away doesn't totally thrill me, but um, I think it's a handy tool. I love the triangulation CD for the half square triangles. I think it's fantastic. Um, same thing here, once you've trimmed it, you're done, it's finished, um, which I think is great. But um, like I said, I'm not a 100% uh, paper piecing person. I know a lot of people like to do it, just not something that I'm thrilled with. So there's that. And thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a great week. Bye.